guys welcome back to my channel I hope you all are doing well so in today's video I am going to review this new launch by Maybelline this is the Maybelline super stay 24 hours full coverage foundation and I'm in the shade 310 this one retails for rupees 750 I know you guys are wondering why did I make a thumbnail like this it's just because uh, whenever I went to buy this foundation the price for this was 650 but when I used to click it it always shows 750 so I don't know why Nika does this I know it does this to a lot of products so I think they need to stop it it's a clickbait of course anyways today I am going to review this foundation for you guys this is a new launch by Maybelline and the actual price for this is 750 rupees for 30 ml product which is expensive than the Maybelline fit me poreless matte foundation so there are total nine shades and my shade is 310 So this foundation has launched 9 shades in India. So I'm going to read out what it says. Maybelline New York Super Stay 24 hour full coverage liquid foundation delivers 24 hour wear for concentrated coverage and a flawless finish that doesn't fade or shift all day. The saturated color pigments provide an ultra transforming effect while the lightweight yet high impact coverage formula glides onto the skin for a flawless makeup finish that lasts all day. Features are a high pigment full coverage foundation, I agree to this. Combats the clog for a transforming 24 hour wear, I'm going to talk about this. Lightweight formula glides on smoothly, of course. All free foundation does not clog pores, dermatologically tested. I definitely agree to the points the brand has said. Uh, anyways, I will come back to that later. First, let's talk about the packaging. It's a glass bottle. It has a plastic cap and it comes with a pump, which is great. Now, coming to the texture of this foundation, it has a creamy texture. It's not liquidy. It's not thick. It's a very creamy texture, which blends amazingly on your skin. It has no such weird smell at all. This is a full coverage foundation and this is buildable as well. Coming to the finish of this foundation, it has a very beautiful matte finish. So if you're someone who has oily skin and loves matte foundation, then this is definitely a great, great product to go for. This is a very lightweight foundation but has full coverage which I really love. When I applied it first time, I didn't feel I'm wearing a full coverage foundation. But the point is it definitely applies a little bit drier. So if you want to set it with a powder, so I would recommend using a lightweight loose powder or a compact powder. Because if you go with a full coverage powder, then this will definitely look cakey. Now coming to the shade, I would say this shade is perfect for me but it definitely oxidizes. But I definitely use a light concealer to highlight my face so it doesn't matter to me. But if you're someone who only applies foundation and you're in my skin tone, my MAC foundation shade is NC41, then I would recommend going with a 2. 20 just natural beige I would definitely recommend that because it definitely oxidizes. so if I use this normally then this will look a little bit darker on my skin tone so if you're someone who doesn't like to highlight your face with a lighter concealer then definitely go for 220 now coming to the staying power I applied the Maybelline uh, master prime primer on my face as my base primer and I applied the foundation with my beauty blender I did went with my brush but it was very drying so I skipped it I applied with my beauty sponge uh, the pack beauty blender uh, it just blended so nicely but I would definitely say it's a little bit drying then after applying the foundation with my pack beauty blender I went with Maybelline fit me loose powder and set my face I did not bake as this is a full coverage foundation I didn't want to bake it because the fit me loose powder is a little bit uh, it has a little bit coverage to it and color to it so I went with that but it definitely looked a little bit cakey because it, it was too drying by 715 I saw a little bit shine around my nose but that was okay it's totally okay with me 
then at 9 30 my full face was totally oily it was shining a lot so i went ahead and applied a little bit of fit me loose powder again and set my full face the thing is after 12 30 i definitely saw that uh, there was no cakiness there was no creasing underneath my eyes which i really really love there was also no creasing around my nose and i definitely love the foundation and if you have an oily skin then i would definitely recommend to set your face if you're liking this foundation and just go with a lightweight loose or compact powder and for oily skin i would definitely recommend this because i absolutely loved it it was not cakey on my face after like so many hours and someone who has dry skin can also go for this foundation but you have to moisturize your face and you can definitely avoid setting your face definitely i would recommend this foundation because i absolutely loved it and if you guys ask me that which one should you get the fit me or this one if you want a medium coverage foundation then definitely fit me if you want full coverage drugstore foundation i would recommend this it definitely oxidizes so make sure you know about this so that's it guys that was the review now let's check out the demo So guys that's it for today's video and I hope you guys find this video helpful and if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah I will see you again on my next video till then take care I love you all. Bye guys.